Look how good Charlie looks. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. He's smiling, dude. Wolf versus Pac-Man. I like the pink wolf choice, too, because of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make sure it all matches. A twisted game, 2-1-3, Pac-Man versus Wolf. I got to say, this matchup probably isn't very fun for Pac-Man. This matchup seems uh, not great, but, you know, Pac-Man in this game has a lot more tools, so I could still see it happening. And Pac-Man Pac is good at edge guarding, so if he can catch Wolf with that awkward timing. Yeah, we're going to see him off stage for sure. But Charlie, man, he's really good at, like, ledge trapping, stage control, combo game. His Wolf is something else. Yeah, he has it all. Right, but right now, uh, Twisted Game is actually has a bit of a lead, getting some conversions coming in. Yeah, well, now that I think of it, this is actually kind of a tricky matchup. I've seen uh, a couple of the local Wolf players near me uh, fight Pac-Man. It's just like uh, Pac-Man does have the tools to actually just you know chip away slowly and slowly. Getting into it now, Charlie slowly brought it back after he really got one neutral opening. Oh man, it's a forward air. Nothing off of it, though. I think it's just too high of a percent to get a combo off of it. Mm -hmm. Just gets rid of the Galaga. Probably doesn't think he can get too much off of it. Yeah, I think it, I don't know. It looked like he threw it down by accident. I don't know. I call it the Galaga. I'm pretty sure it has the Galaxian. <laughs> oh, man. Gets a neutral there. Gets a little bit of positioning in there, but doesn't really do anything much with it. Forward throw into looking for the tech situation forward tilt. Yeah, that's a really potent setup from Wolves. Uh, you see Charlie do it a lot. That time not going to hit a little slow on the read, but that back throw is going to take it. Yeah, man, and the stock lead right here. Twisted game, 2-1-3, but it's still early. Charlie can definitely turn this around right now. Again, tries to go for that tech chase, but really late tech from, uh, from Twisted Gamer. They're going to keep him there, keep him safe, keep his first stock lead. Ooh, what a wow. call out. That was not a safe option from Pac-Man, and that's the best punish you could ever do as Wolf. <laughs> right? I think that's one of the hypest things Wolf can do, is just call someone out jumping and just Wolf flash him. So, yeah, we'll see that. He, he's literally the flashiest wolf. You'll see his wolf flash come out of Charlie the most. He loves that move, and it's a great move. All right, eight, uh, I think that power pellet was intended. Gets a charge, but he's going attack. There we go. I don't know, grab attack might have been like the bait there. That's true. It depends on the character, though. Some characters have bigger ones, some characters have smaller ones. I'm not sure how big Pac-Man's is, so you, you might be right. Yeah, I, I know Snake has, like, the smallest one. Snake Ganon. has, like, a weirdly small get-up attack. Probably why he always recovers really high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, you know, you have someone like Bowser reaches two character lengths. Yep, I, that's the S-tier one, S-plus. That's, that's the Nightmare on That's the only, <laughs> S -plus, the only S-plus get-up attack. Oh, I love that, <laughs> the flat, uh, the shine combo. Trying to apply this pressure right here on the ledge, and Charlie with the lead now. I know Charlie has a really comfortable oh, lead. Jab. We're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Tried to finish the wolf jab there, but it's not. He gets beat out by the Pac-Man. Oh, back turn. What are we going to do here? Trying to parry. Gets the parry. <laughs> He's waiting for that Nair out of shield. That's a, that's a hard thing to expect and parry because uh, Pac-Man's Nair is frame three. So, yeah. But Charlie is not out of the woods yet, man. This is the last stock scenario against Pac-Man. Pac-Man can do some stuff. Pac-Man, you... You get one Galaxian combo, and that's where the damage comes in. But now he has the oh, bell. Oh, he, but he armor through it. it? Yeah. yeah. Charlie gets those a lot, too. The four connections on ledge. He either gets them all the time, or he missed, he's missed there. So uh, He's really good at calling them out. Uh oh Stage control and the fruit. Oh, the oh my god. Air. Is that it? No. no just, yeah. In case he was able to go directly up, he was able to snap. Mm -hmm. If he had to angle that, though, he was in trouble. And this is still very scary for Charlie. Oh, tried to call out the roll this time, but doesn't get it. Back throw, this is this oh, is actually Bell percent, even. bro. Bell percent. There we see it. If he connects with this, this is, could be this, the game. And getting a game one lead and a best of three is massive. All right, gets another unsafe dash attack. Now Charlie's actually in this. Yeah, stage control. Nothing pressured, though. Down air, though. Down air. Okay, I like that on the neutral get up call out. Oh. Tries to run off of the down air, barely missing it. I'm liking these options coming out of Twisted Game so much. Yeah. Oh. Probably looking for the neutral get up. Uh, Charlie throw out an option, get a back throw. It's a lot of characters with back throws out. Uh, kill, we'll go for. That was terrifying, I gotta Twisted, say. Twisted Gamer definitely, he, he had the right ideas. Barely missed the down air, barely mm -hmm. missed a couple edge guards. That could have gone so much differently. He had him off stage at 80, did nothing. Down aired his get up, put him at 100, and then went off stage. And I like that a lot about him. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that he missed the second down air because that would have been the game lead in the set. Exactly. 
would have liked to see a downer, or even if you're not confident about the downer, just go for a hydrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sends you up at this angle, but Pac-Man's able to cover that option, and at that point, Cho's either going to have to go for a Wolf Flash, which you can just stuff out, or he's going to go for the uh, Fire Wolf, which you can kind of mm -hmm. react to and run off downer again. Yeah, the hydrant definitely would have like put the hitbox there and let him control space, too. But we're going to see the comeback of the Sheik right here. He definitely likes this character a lot. Yeah. This character is subject to a lot of talk. A lot of people saying, don't play Sheik, useless character. But, you know, since the buffs, Void's been playing him, Charlie still plays mm -hmm. him, Sheik is still able to do things. She doesn't get a lot of damage per one conversion. She just gets a lot of conversions really fast. Yeah, and even just recently, we've seen you know, these two different regions like take weeklies by like a couple of really prominent Sheik players. We had Big Mac in Chicago, and then in New England, we had their uh, Sheik player take over a weekly. So that's really good on their part. Was it uh, Kool-Aid? No, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Kool-Aid. Uh, I, I remember the tag, as I played him on a Wi-Fi, it's, it's, it's slipped in my mind. Okay. So yeah, Sheik, still nothing to scoff about, has, you know, amazing neutral, able to just stuff out people with her fast hitboxes. Needles are still annoying to deal with. Oh, but here he goes, applying the pressure right here. Uh, Callow stage pick. I like this stage a lot for Sheik, but I also like it for Pac-Man. Yeah. You have all this space for Pac-Man to set up camp. Both characters now have access to their wall jumps. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is uh, looking hard for Sheik. I never thought I'd see the day where Pac-Man would, uh, would have a good match against Sheik. Yeah, it's just I, I don't think uh, Charlie's not finding the right openings with these grabs and tilts. Ooh, see? Did not fully connect on that forward tilt in there. Ooh, that's the fruit at him. The watermelon, or just the melon, is an, almost enough to take him out the top. Imagine if Pac-Man did have a watermelon, though. Oh! oh my god, drag down up there into F-Smash. That was sick. Taking that first dog. That's why Sheik on Kalos is really nice. That's probably why he wants Sheik, honestly. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I've seen Boy do very similar stuff on this stage. Like, he just do, like, the up air drag downs into the, the finishers. Mm. 159% now on Charlie. Still going to look for the stock. Oh, here we Both go. behind him down tilt. Oh, gets the back air. Trying to, you know, get him his tech in place. Now this lead is slowly uh, coming away from Twisted Gamer, oh, but that it. back throw? On yep. Sheik for sure. Like, Kalos is kind of questionable, but Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he kind of gives up the stage control just to get the, uh, the Gallic oh, up, but this 30. is why you don't want to commit against Pac-Man oh, on the stage, okay. or on the ledge. Uh, that directional air dodge is going to end his stock right there, but the trampoline there to you know, cushion him, get him back to ledge. I think what's good about this pick, too, is the fact that Pac-Man has a lot of these really fast moves. Uh, out of shield, and Sheik also has that now, where Wolf, his fastest thing was like frame 10, so now he has boxing options up close. All right, I guess the forward tilt, looking for an option, but he just charges the fruit, which is good, which you want to do, honestly, because Sheik's not too far from uh, losing a stock to Bell, just needs another neutral win or two from Pac-Man. Honestly, if he gets that Bell, like, on the on the side of the ledge, that could kill, but that great bouncing fish call out. And that's massive, because then now Pac-Man loses that rage. Mm -hmm. Tries to nair out of shield again, but nair, Sheik nair, a little nair. too safe. Yeah. Battle of the nairs. <laughs> Tried to go for that F-Smash. Kind of oh. getting a little desperate here from Twisted Gamer, but he the last game he had was last hit, so I I still have full faith in him. If he gets his stock right now, oh. uh, it's a really good stock. Yeah. He got that bell, but he, he got hit by the needles too, so I don't think he would have had enough time even oh. to do that. But again, missed the tech. Yeah, he had a tech. That was a one-stock scenario. Oh, off the he really top. Just, he let the apple slowly come toward him. Yeah, and that's going to do it. One stock apiece. And this yeah, is look actually at the, yeah, look at this percentage. This is easy for Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. This is one Galaga throw. Oh, there it is. He <laughs> catches yeah, it. Yeah, give me that. Let's see what she can do with it. Yeah, I feel like she can do some disgusting combos. Oh, this is some scary pressure, though. Charlie, though, not taking a single hit on his third stock until I say that. Complicated um, curse. But, uh... What's real is this uh, deficit. Yeah. Back airs are just not even sending that hydrant anywhere. It's That's part of the, the mind game right there. It's like, is it going to break? Is it going to break? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he gets hit, takes 20%. So this is looking very scary. Um, Sheik, though, doesn't have like the best kill confirms. Yeah. Pretty much your kill confirms are like tipper down tilt into up air and I don't know, like needles bouncing fish still, I think. Yep, tried to get that down tilt again. Yeah, so we're still going to see a lot of chipping away coming out from Charlie. Maybe he gets another like that. There it is. Oh, that was really unfortunate. As soon as he came in with that bouncing fish, it was really surprising to see Twisted Gamer still charging. You thought he would have maybe tried to jump out of the way, but he just kind of stood there resilient and 